Good advice there, and more help is being sent to thousands of parents in our state. Unexpected debit cards are showing up in the mail as payments for free or reduced school meals that kids never received. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live in Bloomfield to explain who will be getting these cards that have money on them. Mike? Kara, if you're one of these parents, you'd get this pamphlet along with your card. Now, Governor Ned Lamont actually announced these benefits back in April, but many of the parents we talked to today said they were actually suspicious until they followed the instructions in this pamphlet. When we received the, the card on the mail under my son's name, we were really surprised. Christina Guzman Torres was like many parents who got surprise payments in the mail. Turns out it was for school lunches. The Department of Social Services sent out payments last month to families of students who receive free or reduced price school lunches. The one-time payment of $364 meant to cover the missed lunches. DSS received federal funding to pay out $108.5 million in SNAP benefits for lunches. In all, 287,524 students will see additional benefits, according to DSS. Many may remember Governor Ned Lamont's first announcement in April. But the reason families were able to get even more money is because the state got additional funding when schools were closed for the year. It was really a blessing and really a surprise to have that come in the mail. I was not expecting it at all. DSS deposited payments to SNAP recipients in May, then sent payments to parents of kids on Medicaid on June 5th. The rest of the cards were sent out two weeks later. Because the payments are through SNAP, they can only be used on food. But Guzman Toro says her and her husband have seen their hours reduced at work, so any help is appreciated. This came like a in a very good time. Now, some schools actually put all of their students on a free lunch, regardless of household income. In those cases, all students should be eligible for this benefit. But students are not eligible if their schools do not participate in the U.S. Department of Agriculture's National School Lunch Program. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.